Give it up for Jeff Zanini! Salt Lake City. Holy cow. You guys, you guys are amazing. I got to tell you, I heard you backstage. Not to show up Chris, but we're going to have to be just this much louder. Otherwise, people are going to start loving him more. I love him more, but you guys can't. Only I can love him more. So you know what I do. I'm going to start real quick, okay? You know why you're here, right? Do you know the movie? Yeah. Beauty and the Beast, you know what we're doing? All right, before we start, I always do it. It is Beauty and the Beast, but I see a lot of little faces. It is PG-13. There are innuendos. Now's your chance. Don't complain later if Lumiere or Cogsworth says something your kid doesn't understand. All right, that's my piece. That's all I'm going to say. And I'll tell you later on, go to Twisted Tunes. The more followers we get, the crazier you guys are, the more they bring us back here because we love coming here. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I thought it was just my head that loved this stuff. I'm glad you're all nuts with me. All right. I want to hear you. This is it. Now, I'm going to count to three. You have to be this much louder than you were with Chris. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Yes or no? Dude. <laughs> Dude, Jess Arnell came up early. Dude, you look great. Come on over. All right. Next up, who's back? I can't see anyone. Where are you guys? Jeff Bennett's here, folks. Let's hear it. Sit on the end if you want. All right. Next up. She is, we had to have somebody really pretty on the panel other than Jess. Jennifer Hill, folks! Yeah. All right, folks. Last but not least, you know him. He's the king, folks. Kari Payton! to say to your fans? Hey, his mic's not on. Someone turn on Jess's mic. Uh-oh, Jess, one, two. Hell yeah, I do, dude. First of all, I'm totally Jess Harnell. Do you guys have any idea how stoked I am to be back here in my favorite town, my home away from home, Salt Lake City? And dude, it is even better because I'm here today with some of my buddies, Jeff Sinini, Jeff Bennett, Jennifer Hale, and Kari Payton, man. And most of all, I got all my great friends out there, and dude, hell yeah, I look cool. You got to check out this jacket, man. It changes color when you touch it, and all the girls in Salt Lake can write their phone numbers on it with their fingers, dude. Check it out. Let's hear it! Let's hear it! Dude, who, who are you, dude? Dude, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Who the hell are you, dude? I'm totally you, dude. Who, who the heck are you when you talk, by the way? Dude, I, 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 I'm just starting out. I just got to ask. You guys, you, you know me, man. We, we worked together for years. How could you let this happen? I, I have That's no idea Jess you, right there. No, yeah, exactly. The, uh, He's more you than you. You can tell by the hat. Dude. 
no, 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 dude, I totally remember, I totally remember, I totally remember, man, this is the stunt me, okay, and the reason I have a stunt me is if, in case the girl was married and didn't tell me and her husband comes to the hotel, I send him out, and it's all good, you so this is the kidding. stunt me and he's here, but you know what, there's no way I'm going to let the stunt guy read for me because this is my favorite con in the world, and I got one question for you, Sean Lake City, are you ready, ready to, to rock? rock? And dude, dude, before we get started, I got to tell you, we got to give props. You know, this is the best party in the state. You guys know that, right? Woo! And the guy who throws the party is none other than my brother from another mother. You know him, you love him, even without the wig, take it off. Dude, it's Dan Farr! How about that, man? It's Dan Farr! The good news is, is his wife saw the new look and she's totally down, bro. Hey, <laughs> Jess, yeah, this is I, new I, me. I loved the new Jess. I really did. He's better than the I'm, old one. I'm gonna miss the new Jess. I was just getting used to him. He's, Listen, go back there and go hit on some chicks. I gotta get to work. <laughs> hey, we're gonna get a photo. Let's do a picture, dude. Can yeah, we get a picture? Yeah. Let's, yeah. Here, wait. Hey. Gonna, hey, will you guys all will stand guys up and we get a picture? This every year, guys. Yeah. Get your lights on. Stand up. We want to right, hear guys. you. We're going to do a crowd shot. We're going to do a crowd shot. We need to move the tables back, so just walk around the front of the stage. I swear we're going to st Oh, you guys, it looks like Christmas, man. This is outstanding. Come on, everybody. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Now, you guys, you got to look pretty. I'm going to show this to my family, all right? Hey, when the photographer says go, we want you guys all up yelling. All right. We want to be loud. We want we want to show them, guys. We've been practicing this all day for the most amazing photo op ever. Are you guys ready? Here we got the photographers getting ready. On the count of three, I want you guys to go nuts. Ready? One, two, three. Come on, let's hear it. Dude. Wow, man. You know what? This hasn't even started and it's already really screwed up. This is going to be a good one, man. Seriously. I love you, dude. All right. Boom. Who that? Who All right. Did you guys have fun? Was that fun? Yeah? Hey, did any of you guys really think it was me? You guys are way too smart, man. I'm serious. All right. I feel like there's an I don't know what this is. It videotaping us or them? What's your name, little guy? <laughs> are you a friend? Oh. Oh. Ah! All right. Let's get started now. You guys have waited long enough. Let's do it. All right. Beauty and the Beast, scene one. Does anyone have a pen? I, can, I lost my pen. Is there I just pen? Did. Yeah. I'm marking this. Is that it? Oh, is that pen? All right, I got one. All right. Good? Scene one. As the narrator, Jennifer Hale, Cinderella. Nice. As Belle, Jeff Bennett. Everyone remember uh, Land Before Time? How about Petrie? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Woo. Yes. Uh, Jess, as LeFou, Pee Wee Herman. Okay. It makes sense, dude. As Maurice, Kari. How about Aqualad from Young Justice? Yeah, there you go. Oh, Maurice. As Gaston, Jess, we're going to have you do Arnold Schwarzenegger, double duty. Now, dude, LeFou and, Sh and, and Gaston talk to each other all the time. So do you. Oh, God. You he talk is to right, yourself though. all the time. That way I never get lonely, bro. Enjoy that one, guys. That one, that's a present from me to you. Enjoy that one. <laughs> all right. Now, hey, as the townsfolk, you know the opening song, everyone, the bonjour, bonjour, what bonjour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what we're not going to do the whole song, but there's five bonjours. So when it. that part comes up, we're going to point to you. We want five bonjour, just like the just like the movie, all right? Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Right yeah, that's Should it. We practice? No, they're professional. Yeah, you're gonna just gonna get it one take, yeah. man. You These guys, you, this crowd knows what they're doing. You and need then, a Wiz, oh, without accent, it does not matter. <laughs> and the last part, 
Opening the movie with the great introduction on the top is going to be Kari as King Ezekiel. Ooh. You're going to read the opener. The opening to the movie Ooh. is the king. Oh. Whenever you guys are ready, you may start. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. One winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter. The prince sneered. I was up late last night, so some of my voice sometimes, sometimes goes, I'm going to say sneered. The prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away, but she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but she had seen that there was no love in his heart. And as punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast. Can I get hideous beast sound from somebody? <laughs> A hideous beast with indigestion. Uh. And placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. If he could learn to love another and earn her love in return by the time the last petal fell. You know, this story sounds strangely familiar. <laughs> then the spell would be broken. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope for who could ever learn to love a beast. Oh, oh, goodness. Hello. My, oh, the um, movie opens with Belle. Oh, couldn't I do it? Can I sing? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Um, singing the bonjour song about a little town, a quiet village, sorry, and provincial life. The irony is that she loves a book where the princess doesn't figure out who the prince is until chapter three. I so get that. <laughs> little town, it a quiet village, oh yes it be. <laughs> Me singing flyer. <laughs> Every day, like one before, in different video, probably 12, 13, maybe 14. <laughs> little town full of little people. Ooh, me not sing so good, so me say sing. Waking up to say ellipses. Bonjour! Yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> hey, you didn't miss a shot, Gaston. You're the greatest hunter in the whole wide world. Yes, I know. I'm fantastic. <laughs> Hang on, dude. Okay, wait, I got a lot more, though. Hang on. Okay. Uh, ha! No beast alive stands a chance against you. Ha, ha, ha! And no girl, for that matter, although a movie theater in Sarasota might be a tough nut to crack. Sorry, Abby. Uh, hey, oh. hey, wait, wait, wait. The, kid, the kids don't know. We Hang warned you. It's true, LeFou. And I've got my sights set on that one. She works out constantly. <laughs> oh, you mean the inventor's daughter? Yes, she's the one. The lucky girl I'm going to marry. It's like she was sculpted out of a really hot rock. <laughs> but, 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 she's, she's the most beautiful girl in town. Stop it. Yeah, I know that, but, and that makes her the best. And don't I deserve the best? Look at me, my gluteus is Maximus. <laughs> Dude, it, it doesn't even say that. I just made that up right now, man. He's oh, crazy that way. I could have sworn it was on the first try. <laughs> Hang on, I got more though. Hang on, listen to this now. Okay. Sure. Well, of course, I mean, you do, but I mean, oh, this is that song, dude. Hang on. Right from the moment when I met her, saw her, <laughs> I said she's gorgeous and the fell. The in town is only me, who is beautiful as she, and making plans to marry the bell. <laughs> Wait.
Well, I I it seems there are three pretty girls dying to get Gaston's attention. Well, we're not exactly girls, but we are dying to get his attention. <laughs> All girls are welcome. They sing about how tall, strong, dark, and handsome Gaston is. And they're all right about it. I'm fantastic. <laughs> but right now, I want you to watch me. I'm going to give you a lesson and show you how I will make Belle my wife. Hello, the Belle. Up, up. Bonjour, Gaston. Up. Gaston, may I have my book, please? <laughs> listen, listen. I said she was hot. I didn't say she had the weird voice. <laughs> Wait I don't say I have wings either. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. How can you read this book? There's no pictures. Well, some flyers use imaginations. Belle, let me tell you something. You're a saucy little vixen. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> a <laughs> stop, you stop. <laughs> it's about time that you get your heart out of the book and you pay attention to more important things. Like me. The whole town is talking about it. It's not right for the woman to read. Then she starts getting ideas. She starts the thinking and she marches on Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I made that up too, dude. That's not here. I just want to say for a moment, that's exactly why you lost the series. <laughs> Hey, hey, you don't know exactly a thing. Why. You don't know nothing. I didn't want to say it before, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> Who, Gaston, you are positively prime evil. Who, that private joke with flyers? <laughs> why, thank you, Belle. You're very sexy, too. <laughs> what do you say, you and me? Take the walk over to the tavern and have the look at my trophies. Please, Gaston, no, I can't. I have to get home. Fly, fly, go. Big water and help my father. Bye-bye. Ha. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ha-ha! Yeah, yeah. That, that crazy old loon, he needs all the help he can get. Don't talk about my father that way. <gasps> yeah, don't talk about the father that way. Oh, that wasn't me. I was supposed to ask people. That's what I just oh, said. Sorry, wait a second. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> that crazy old loon, he needs all the help he can get. We just went backwards. Pick it up, Jeff. Yes. My father not crazy. He a genius. Okay, I gotta laugh at both of them. Hang on. Ha-ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha! There. <laughs> Papa, can you hear me? No, no, different. Papa, can you hear different me? Thing. Papa. Quiet. <laughs> this particular voice never raises his voice, so you're going to have to be quiet. <laughs> How on earth did that happen, dog? Gone it. Are you all right, Papa? You sound like you party a lot. <laughs> I'm about to get ready to get give up on this hunk of junk. Oh, you always say that. I mean it this time. This time I think I'm going to put on some really tight pants and swim in the ocean. <laughs> because I'll never get this boneheaded contraption to work. Yes, you will. And you win first prize at fair tomorrow. <laughs> ha harump, I say. Harumph. Me say that a lot too. Harumph! And become a world famous inventor. Ooh, that'd be nice. You really believe that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, that's not what written either. <laughs> I always have. Yes, secretly no. Well, that's what I was waiting for. And for Netflix to say that we're picked up for another season. <laughs> I'll have this thing fixed in no time. Hand me that, that octopus-legged clencher there. So did you have a good time in town today? Oh, I got new book. Papa, do you think I'm odd? <laughs> I know several thousand people do, but do you? <laughs> Well, this is awkward. <laughs> My daughter? Odd? Where would you get an idea like that? Oh, I don't know. It just, I'm not sure I fit in here. <laughs> there, there's no one I can really talk to. And no flyer. What about that Gaston? He's a handsome fellow. Oh, he handsome, all right. All the hair and all. <sighs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
and rude and conceited and oh, Papa, he not for me. I didn't know that was coming. I really didn't. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> I didn't. I know. <laughs> I just want you to know that personally. I did I, not I, know that was coming. I love you, well, don't worry, because this invention is going to be the start of a new life for us. Now, let's give it a try. Suddenly, an enormous machine puffs and smokes and, oh dear, we learn all it does is cut wood. <laughs> oh, oh, it works! Well, cut wood is a euphemism for something else. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> it does! It does! <laughs> Do I, I told PG-13, I warned him. Oh, it is? <laughs> That was a multisyllabic word, not a four-letter <laughs> word. Kids, ask your parents later. <laughs> Hitch up the leap, girl. I'm off to the fair. Goodbye, Papa. Good luck with chopping wood and all that. <laughs> Goodbye, Belle. And take care while I'm gone. I've got a feeling she's not going to listen to that advice. And scene. <laughs> dry line, dry line. Oh, this movie's looking really different already. All right. All right. Let's just let's just go into the next scene. Next scene, we got narrating Jess Kermit the Frog. Oh good, dude. As uh let's see. As Chip Kari, how about Black Manta? Yes. Yes, that's good. As the Beast, Jennifer, none other yeah. than Princess Morbucks. Awesome. Okay, good. <laughs> As Belle, Jeff, Tom Brokaw. Great. <laughs> right. I'm Belle again. Yes, like you're Belle again. You fit the suit, man. I know. Jess, okay. as Lumiere, yeah. Ironhide. Transformers. <laughs> the Transformers, that's right. And speaking of, how about Kari? Cyborg from Teen Titans. As Cogsworth. Oh, okay. Cogsworth. Right here. All right, let's see. Keep going here. Um, Jen, as LeFou. I know you were going to scream for Commander Shepard. Oh, yeah. What? As Gaston, Jess, Wacko Warner. I sound just like the guy on the show. You guys are going to freak out, man. <laughs> and as, as uh, Maurice, Jeff, how about John Travolta? Oh, dude. Okay. Dude, I love it. All right. John Travolta. Now, we do, have, we do have one line left. Okay. Yeah, do we, do we have any special guests that want to come up, or in the, in are the we back? not going right. to do it? Wasn't there somebody in the back? Did you say? If we don't, it's okay. But if we do, is she a yes or a no? Is she a yes or a no? We we have we have the Salt Lake City Mini Bell herself. We just don't know if she's ready to come up. Please come, please. Yes or no. If not, we'll just do something else. Oh sure. Yeah. Not today. Not. All right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She's not ready. She's actually doing this for all of you. She's a little girl. She's eight years old, and she's so damn cute that if she came out here, you'd all have heart attacks. So she's looking out for your health, man. All right? But she's she's back there. She's adorable, and we're going to figure it out without her. But, Lily, we love you, honey. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. All right. Here we go. All right. I can all do right. it as uh, Edith Bunker. Yeah, Edith Bunker. Edith Bunker. Uh, as Mrs. Potts, for one line, can you do Edith Bunker for us? No. Okay. Uh, Edith, uh, Edith Bunker it is. All right. When you guys are ready, start the craziness. Okay. So Maurice is Travolta? Is that yeah. right? Yeah. So, like, we should be there by now, right? <laughs> Maybe we, thanks to Dina Manzel, thank you. I'll take over. Maybe we missed a turn. I guess I should have taken a, wait a minute, all right? Let's go this way. I don't know why, but let's do it. Well, he obviously chooses the wrong path and gets lost in a swamp, of all places. 
<laughs> Wait a minute, I thought they were draining the swamp. <laughs> is there no, any promises, what we're doing promises, is man. I, know, I, know. I don't believe it is. This can't be right. What have you what have, where what? <laughs> where have you taken us, Philippe? Is that your name? We better turn around and oh boy. Wolf Philip. I mean Philippe. <laughs> See, I already forgot your name. Oh, look out. Back up. You better back up. All right, Mr. Cutter, I swear. <laughs> steady now. All right, steady. Philippe, Philippe, are you a horse? <laughs> I just um, forgot your name was, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Maurice, who is obviously drunk, outruns three wolves, <laughs> falls down a hill, and stumbles into a castle. Huh? Is this someone there that can, like, tell me how to speak right? <laughs> This poor fellow must have lost his way in the woods. Booyah! <laughs> Thank you, I sound awesome today. I've been doing good. <laughs> Booyah! I mean, wait, hold, hold on, hold on. I'm supposed to be quiet. I don't know how to be quiet as Cyborg. That's not what Cyborg does. Cyborg is really, really loud most of the time. I'm going to try to be, think of me Do as being it. loud. Think Do of me it. being quiet. Okay, I'm going to keep quiet. This is as quiet as, this is my quiet voice. <laughs> Maybe he'll just go away if we keep being quiet. <laughs> Who's talking to you? Maurice. 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 Oh, I, I didn't ever hear the line. Okay, all right, okay, cool. <laughs> Is someone there? I just woke up. <laughs> Not a word, Lumiere. Not one word. All right, I don't mean to intrude and everything, but I've lost my horse. <laughs> <laughs> and I need a place to stay for the night, because I lost my horse. He obviously has not lost his alcohol. <laughs> Cogsworth, have a heart, even though I am made of metal and do not. Dude, I told you to be quiet. He's never going to go away if you don't be quiet. The angry clock fellow has a point. <laughs> of course, monsieur, you are welcome here as long as you are not a Decepticon. <laughs> Wait, which Transformer said that? The one who got killed at the end of the third movie. <laughs> All right, okay, I know that one. No, no, I'm over here. I thought maybe it was a British one. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of British people in space for yeah. some reason. We'll get into that later. Where? But, <laughs> It says this here, hello, I'm French now. <laughs> oh, incredibly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, great. Well, now you've done it. You were way too loud, and now he won't go away. Now he's trying to pick me up and play with me. Stop pushing my buttons. <laughs> That's it, man. All right, angry dude, how exactly is this accomplished? <laughs> well, first of all, you take a car, and then you transform it into a robot. <laughs> okay. Hold on, I got more lines. <laughs> Sir, I need you to put me down at once. Sir, close that at once. Do you mind? That is my breastplate. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I had that problem with the uh, breasts all the time. <laughs> we went right back to PG-13, didn't we? Yeah. All right, I beg your pardon. It's just that I've never seen, like, a, a clock with a breastplate, you know, that, uh, I mean, <laughs> a ch okay, I'm going to sneeze now. A chew! Oh, you are soaked to the bone, monsieur. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Well, that sounds like an inviting voice. No, 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 no. Do you know what the master will do if he finds you here? I demand that you stop right here. No, right here. <laughs> Come on, right here. Oh, no, not in the master's chair. He's sitting in the master's chair, y'all. Get out of the master's chair. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this. <laughs> Okay, this is what's actually written. I, I don't want to say it, but it's... Well, hello there, boy. What? <laughs> what service? All right, this has gone far enough. I'm that, in I, I agree. And I say dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, 
Ellipses, excuse me. Oh, how would you like a nice spot of tea, sir? <laughs> It'll warm you up in no time. <laughs> Jeez, would you shut up, huh? <laughs> That's good. No, no tea, no tea, no tea. <laughs> up. Black man is chip. Ha ha. Hey, who's chip? Who's chip? That's oh, yeah. him. Black man is chip. <laughs> Can't you tell? I'm a tiny, cute little cup. Blast you. Ha <laughs> ha. His mustache tickles mama. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. We'll see you next year. Good night. Good night, everybody. I'm so glad you're all as messed up as me. This oh, is man. great. <laughs> oh, wow. And then I said, oh. The marshals are at the exits right, right. now. Uh -oh. They're coming. Here they come. Uh oh. Hello. <laughs> Uh-oh. Daddy! <laughs> there is a stranger here! And it's not a Powerpuff Girl! <laughs> Optimus, allow me to... Ex oh, you're not Optimus. Wait a second. Allow me to explain. The gentleman was lost in the woods and became... Uh, you see, mistress, um, like, I tried to tell them um, this uh, moment to say, I was um, against this from the start. I tried to stop them. I told them over and over again. I was like, y'all got to be quieter. Be quieter. Somebody, please, don't be so quiet. <laughs> Shut your pie hole. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing here? This is mine. Okay, like I said about 30 minutes ago, <laughs> I was like, okay, I was on a horse, okay. all right? I was lost in the woods on my horse. I was lost in the woods on my horse. You are not welcome here. Uh, I'm sorry. What are you staring at? Oh, no, 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 nothing. It was, it was Medina Hazel. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Medina, 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 shut up. So, you've come to stare at the beast. Have you? Well, okay, maybe, but no. <laughs> Please, I meant no harm at all. I, I just, I just like needed a place to stay. Oh, I'll give you a place to stay. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm leaving. <laughs> and now we uh -uh. cut back to Bell's house. All the townspeople are outside singing. Why are there so many songs about rainbow? <laughs> Who's look through? Look out! Look out! Who's look through, dude? <clears throat> that would be me. Oh, good. <clears throat> oh boy, Belle's gonna get the surprise of her life, and it's not a reaper. <laughs> Isn't she, Gaston? Get down! She sure is, cause I'm gonna say hello, Belle. This, yeah. is, this is her lucky day. I'd like to thank you all for coming to my wedding. But first, I better go in there and ask, I mean, propose to the girl. <laughs> and now you, LeFou, when Belle and I come out that door. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm so sick of your disingenuous assertions. <laughs> Strike up the band. No, 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 not yet. Sorry, sorry. Everybody down, everybody down. I guess on what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> <laughs> that got me, dude. That was good. Hang on. Isn't it, though? I'm just full of surprises. In fact, I'm having a party emergency sitting at this table. I so, know this. <laughs> you know, Bill, there's not a girl in town who wouldn't love to be in your shoes if they fit them. This is the day your dreams came true. You know, I am really getting used to this girl part. <laughs> <laughs> What do you know about my dreams, Gaston? Oh, I know plenty. Here, I want you to picture this. A rustic water tower, my latest kill roasting on the fire, and my little wife massaging my feet while the little ones play with the dogs. We'll have six or seven. 
Did you say while the little ones play with dot? Oh, no. <laughs> Dogs. No, 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 Belle. We'll have strapping boys like me, and they shall all call me Dadu. <laughs> I, I'd like to imagine that, <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> and do you know who that wife will be? Uh, let me think. It's uh, gonna be you, Tom Brokaw. <laughs> oh, I guess so. I, I am a speechless. <laughs> I really don't know what to say, and that's unusual for me. Oh, say you'll marry me. I'm very sorry. I cannot guess on, but I, I just don't uh, deserve you. Belle opens the door, and Gaston falls into a mud puddle with a pig. Hey, I so know a pig. I'm all about that bass. <laughs> 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 Gaston, how did it go, mission accomplished? Let's just say, I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> TMI. And see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great, man. So funny. Oh, my God. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Wow, it's just, yeah. All right. Next. All right, if you're music fans, you're going to enjoy this one. All right. We're, all right, let's, no, I'll, I'll skip that. So, narrating it. Jen, Bioshock, Rosalind? Oh, yes, certainly. Okay. As the Beast, Kari, how about Rafiki? Oh! It's unbelievable, you guys. It's going to freak you out. It's so good. All right. Uh, Jess, yeah. who better to play Belle than Christopher Walken? Oh, God. I'm just glad you didn't give me Bell again. <laughs> so you're making Jeff share the wealth now. Yes. <laughs> As Maurice, Jennifer, Jean Grey. <clears throat> all right. Now, there are four parts here, and we're going to use, since we have all the Beatles here, we're going to use the Beatles. Yes. Oh, all right. As Cogsworth, Jeff, is John Lennon. Right. And as Chip is Ringo Starr. Oh, cool, dude. And Jess as Lumiere is Paul McCartney. Okay. <laughs> and Mrs. Potts is George Harrison. All right, sweet, dude. That again. That's now, good. I do have one line as the feather duster. We need to give somebody something. Do you have anything? What do you want to do? We got that. <laughs> Kellyanne Conway will be the feather duster. <laughs> That's good. There you go. All right. Whenever you're ready to screw up more minds, go right ahead. <laughs> Here he comes, dude. Wow. Is he gone? Can you imagine he asked me to marry him, me, the wife of that boorish, brainless? No. No. I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. I wanted more. And I can tell. And for once, it might be grand to have someone understand that Wacker Warner never wears any pants. <laughs> I, I threw that in. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, it's still me, dude. You're Hang a on. hoofer. Yeah, I'm a hoofer. Yep. I'm a hoofer. I'm a dancer. Philippe, what are you doing here? Where? Where's Papa? Where is he? Philippe, I got to find him because I've had his watch up my ass for 35 years. <laughs> no, no, we got to find him. You have to take me to him. Wow. <laughs> hey, hang on. Hold the phone. What is this place? <laughs> oh, couldn't keep, couldn't keep quiet, could we? Just had to invite him to stay, didn't we? Yeah. Serve him tea, sit in the master's chair, pet the pooch. Oh, no, look, John. It was which just are available in the other place over there, the Humane Society, aren't they? John, 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 I was just trying to be hospitable. You know, we let Yoko stay in the studio for six months one time. <laughs> hey, hello, is anyone here? Hello, Pa, Pa, Papa, are you here? Mama, there's a girl in the castle. <laughs> I've never seen one before. Now, Chip, I'll not have you making up such wild stories and whatnot with your five garb Jake jumps in over and sort of thing. But really, Momo, I saw her just like I saw second Jess Shh. <laughs> Shh. 
Not another word, my guitar's busy gently weeping. <laughs> I noticed that earlier. <laughs> Get into the tub, will ya? Who's the feather duster, dude? Oh, oh, sorry, hi. Um, I, I was busy, I was, I was reviewing the facts, and what they really <laughs> actually do say is um, a girl, I did see a girl in the castle, he was nowhere near her, let me just tell you that right now. <laughs> Kellyanne, I'm gonna need you immediately, I have a tweet in my head. <laughs> Oh, I'm Chip, sorry. See, I told you Kellyanne Conway was I here too. It was me, but it could be you. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter who it is. No, it's we'll do it together. It really doesn't late. matter. Yeah. Irresponsible, devil may care, waxy-eared, slack-jawed, and what do you call your hair? Wow, hang on. <laughs> Papa! <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, John, did you see that? It's a girl, that's what it is. <laughs> look, I know it's a girl. I've seen plenty of girls. In fact, I've got a lot of songs about girls. You might know that. I've enjoyed all of them. Look, that don't you see? Old, hey girl, yeah. She's the one I've been waiting for. Right. I saw her walk in and said, Hey girl, don't make it bad. I got a song. <laughs> okay. The girl we've been waiting for. Like she's come here to break the spell, you see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wow, hey, Papa. Papa. Who are you, Boba Streisand? <laughs> Hello? The candle and the clock. Open the door behind her, or is it the clock and the candle? Hard to say. Hi, hi, it's me. Is someone here? Wait, I'm looking for my father. You might know that because I called Papa like 400 times. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I'm sure there was someone. I, I, I is. That's what it says. Anyone here? Uh, Bell, is that you? One more time. Papa! <laughs> huh. how, how did you find me? Well, I've been calling your name since 1986. <laughs> but what I find unusual is your hands. They're like ice. We have to get you out of there. No, no, no. Belle, I, I want you to leave this place. I, I can't hold it back much longer. Hey, hold on. Who's done this to you? There's Let no me... time to explain. Sorry. <laughs> you must go now! Yeah, I'll go as soon as I stab him in the face with a soldering iron. The, the, yeah! The point is, Belle, or Maurice, I'm Belle, I forgot, I'm not wearing a dress. I won't leave you. Hold on a minute! Now who in the world are you? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> Wait, this guy's amazing. Wait. Who are you? I am the master of this castle. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the circle of life is coming together before my eyes. <laughs> Listen, I've come for my father. Please let him out. Can't you see he's sick? He's got a fever. And the only cure <laughs> is, is to get out of this castle and have more cowbell. There you go. <laughs> First of all, that is not your father. <laughs> I know your father. <laughs> and let me tell you, your father would never have trespassed around here. But little monkey man, <laughs> he could die. Please, I'll do any thing you know maybe you could put your sentences together a little bit quicker that would be something you could do <laughs> <laughs> but for now i'm going to have to say that he is my prisoner oh there must be some way i can wait <laughs> take me instead <laughs> <laughs> You! <laughs> you would take his place? Belle, no! You don't know what you're doing. I know, but look how much money I've made doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you this. At least 20 films that way. Mr. Mr. Monkey Man, if I did stay, would you let Papa go? 
Well, you know, you kind of stringy looking to me. <laughs> but you must promise to stay here forever. Hey, do me a favor. Come into the light. Bill. Yeah. Bill, no. No, I, I, I can't let you do this. It's wrong. You have my Dramatic. word. <laughs> Dramatic pause. Oh, there was. Now you have my word. <laughs> was as dramatic as I thought. That was the most undramatic pause I ever heard in my <laughs> life. I have drama for you right here. Here, no, who? Bill, no, listen to me. I'm old, not that old. I've lived my life and other people's. Hey, wait. Bill! Wait. <laughs> no, wait Scotty, Wolverine, please spare my daughter. I'm over here still waiting for that dramatic pause. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, let's move on. She is none of your concern anymore. Take him to the village. Please, let me out. Please! Papa! Yeah, <laughs> and scene. Did I need to build Let's hear it. <laughs> wow, dude. That was great. <laughs> a monkey playing a beast. I love <coughs> yeah. it. I love it. All right. Moving on. We're going to move on quickly because in this scene, let's do Finding Nemo. Oh, good, dude. Yeah. Yes. As the beast, who else than Dory? Oh. Oh. And as Belle. How about Marlon? Marlon, dude, yeah, totally, man, totally, totally. And as Gaston, Jeff, yeah. Johnny Bravo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. As the narrator, Kari, Morgan Freeman. Oh, yeah. I will try. Jeff, as Lumiere, Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, good, dude. Okay. <laughs> Jess as Maurice the Cowardly Lion. Oh, okay, cool, dude. I love that. Jen as mm -hmm. crony number one, Sarah Palmer from Halo. Oh, okay. oh, it's crony number two, Jess. We want you to sing lines. Michael McDonald <laughs> singing two lines. <laughs> okay. It's That's two nice. lines, yes. That's nice. Really, that's really stupid. We'll do that. Nick isn't here, is he? We didn't get Nick to come. Is Nick here? No. No, I didn't think he showed up. It is All Nick. Right. As LeFou, Kari, how about we just let you do whatever you want to do? Oh, there it is. Le oh. I want you to make it Hell up as you go. All right, we'll We're get there. We'll see it. what happens. We're digging into Kari's brain on this one. You asked for it. Where is it? Yeah. This one? All right. Whenever you guys are ready, go right ahead. And now, after taking a short dramatic pause. <laughs> Finally! We are back in the dungeon. <laughs> Master! <laughs> oh, uh, huh? oh, sorry. I suffer from short-term memory loss. Uh, huh? What? So since the girl is going to be with us for quite some time, I was thinking that you might want to offer her a more comfortable room. What, what? Lotion ain't big enough for her? Huh, huh, huh? <laughs> okay, she's on the meds again. Then again, maybe not. No, wait, Nemo! <laughs> you didn't even let me say goodbye. I'll, I'll never see him again. <laughs> I didn't get to say goodbye. <laughs> I didn't. Come on. Oh, I'll, no. I'll show you to your room. It's right past the undertow where I hope you end up. Uh, well, she lost my damn son. What do you want me to say? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. The I'm guy's sorry. got so many keys. Uh, I'll show you to, to your, you, a room. Do you want a room? Hi, a I'm second. Dory. <laughs> <laughs> I know you told me you were Dory 17 times while we were waiting to start the sea. I did. But, oh, but, but wait a minute, my room? I live in the ocean. I'm a fish. How can I have a whole room? A boat? Oh, oh I've seen a room. Uh, there's a room. Um, you want to stay in the tower? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, then, then, then follow me. Follow me. Woo! I love <laughs> games. Woo! <laughs> hey, here's an interesting idea. Say something to her! <laughs> huh? Oh. Uh, hi. <laughs> uh, 
That's a start. Oh, 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 uh, uh, whale, whale. Oh, I hope you like it here. <laughs> <laughs> The castle <laughs> is your home now. So you can go anywhere you like, except the West Wing. Oh, look, Krill. Okay, that was a good rehearsal. <laughs> now, wait a minute. What's in the West Wing? Is it a bunch of seagulls going, mine, 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 mine? Escape. <laughs> it is forbidden, I think. Uh, well, uh, I mean, at least, at least I think it is. Hmm. Hi. I'm Dory. <laughs> uh, no, 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 if you need anything, my um, um, you know, servant fish will will will, will attend to you. And uh, hi, uh. do you need a room? <laughs> um, uh, well, uh. No, it's you know, invite her to. Wait, that's not my voice. <laughs> I meant dinner. <laughs> Oh, uh, invite her to dinner. I sometimes lose that. Oh, sorry. Hi. Uh, 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 dinner. D food. Do you, do you need food or a or, or room? Um, boing, boing, boing. Hi. <laughs> sorry. That, 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 that's not a request. Hi. I'm Dory. Changing scenes. We find ourselves in Shawshank Prison. <laughs> We look around, but Andy is nowhere to be found. I hope that wherever he is, he, oh, oh, you know what, I'm getting off subject. Why don't we move back to the village, to Gaston's tavern? Drunken fools, all of them. Oh, <laughs> oh man, where's my hair gel when I need it? <laughs> <laughs> Who does she think she is? My girl is tangled with the wrong man. Nobody says no to Johnny Gaston. <laughs> You're so right, sir. You're, no one says bad things to you. I sure never would. Yeah, whatever you said, that's right, man. <laughs> Dismissed, rejected, <laughs> publicly humiliated, man. <laughs> and I know public humiliation. Why, it's, it's more than I can bear. You know, it would make you feel so much better. Some beer. Have more beer. <laughs> beer, I said bear, man. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> what for? I mean, nothing helps. I, I'm disgraced. Who? One chick down. <laughs> no, you never, Gaston. You've got to pull yourself together. Here, let me help you. Get your hands off me, man. <laughs> Only Johnny pulls Johnny together. <laughs> <coughs> the next scene. <coughs> <coughs> I have to calm down. <laughs> the next scene is an homage to Gaston in song. Actually, we learn, you know actually what? it's not. You know what, I don't mean to interrupt you, but it's, it's the Gaston song, and we have a couple people here that can actually sing it. Would you like to hear that? Ah. All right. Right from the crowd, we pulled up a couple of guys who were going to sing a little piece of the Gaston song for you. What? Oh, nice. Oh, yes. Gentlemen. Yeah, you take Good the one on the end in here. Here you go. They're going to sing the Gaston song. Folks, enjoy. Welcome to Metal Tabernacle Choir right here, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! The Metal Tabernacle Choir. Yeah. I'm in front. <laughs> <laughs> they actually Whenever are. you're ready. No one hits like Gaston, matches wits like Gaston in a spitting match. Nobody spits like Gaston. I'm especially good at expectorating. <laughs> Why, what a guy, Gaston. When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. And now that I'm grown, I eat five dozen eggs. So I'm roughly the size of a barge. <laughs> Too many eggs. <laughs> Thank you very much, boys. All right. Thank see you, you guys. awesome singers from the crowd. You never know what you're going to see up here. All awesome. right, picking back up with Maurice. All right, dude. <laughs> help. Somebody help me. I do believe in beasts. I do believe in beasts. I do believe in beasts. 
that's great. Maurice. My oh, that's me. It's, it's me again, <laughs> dude. Again. Please, please, I need your help, fellas. He's got her. He's got her locked in the dungeon with Toto and Dolphy's red shoes. Who? Oh, thanks, man. There he is. There you go. I had one line. Bell, I forgot we got to go. To oh, we oh, we got to go. There's not a moment to lose. Somebody help me. I'm trapped in a castle with a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, man. Hey. Who? Slow down, Marines. Who's got Bell or whatever she is locked up in a dungeon? It's a beast. That's a horrible, monstrous beast. <laughs> <laughs> Chief, wait a second. Is it a big beast? Yup. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go again. <laughs> With a long, ugly snout. Yeah! <laughs> Is it hideously ugly? And, and, and sharp, cruel fangs? Yes, yes, yes. Will you help me? Meh. Yeah. All right, yeah. All right, old man. Johnny is going to help you out, okay? <laughs> Just to get you out. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. Take a left of the yellow brick road, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Crazy old Maurice, he's always good for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I needed a personal moment, sir. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Crazy old Maurice, huh? <laughs> Crazy old Maurice. Except I knew that before the scene even started. <laughs> Lefou, I'm afraid I've been thinking. A Ow. dangerous pastime. <laughs> I, I know, but that wacky old coot is Bell's father, and he's crazy as you know what. And his sanity is only so-so. Now the wheels of my head have been turning <clears throat> since I looked at that loony old man. Okay. <laughs> See, I promised myself her, I'd be married to Bell. And right now, I'm evolving a Johnny plant. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> Michael McDonald killed me. <laughs> that was great. That was so great. Weird. It's just so weird. <laughs> Crazy oh <my> <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, man, are you guys still having a good time out there? Woo! <laughs> I want to take I want to take one second. I know it's all going crazy, but I just want to speak on behalf of all of us and say how happy we are to be here with you guys. How much we've loved meeting you guys. If you haven't met us, come say hi later. You don't have to buy anything. You can just come and say hi. We'd love to shake hands with you and meet you. We'll be down there. And what do you call it, dude? Um, the convention. Yeah, we'll be at the convention. <laughs> so come see us there. I love you guys. Thanks so much for having us. We really appreciate you. <laughs> and there's more. Where's hey, Jan? Is Jan Rebel here? I met this girl at the hotel, and she did an amazing impression. Jan, are you here? Shout out if you're here, Jan. Jan. Right there. Jan, Jan come here. here. You're coming up. You're coming get up. up here. This Woo! is your big moment. All right. While she comes up here, I'm going to cast this because we got two more scenes. She's and we a friend move of ours, now. and she's pretty awesome. All you guys. right. Here, she can sit right there, right, dude? Uh, as the wardrobe, Jennifer, Marilyn Monroe. Uh -huh. As Cogsworth, hey. Jeff. Yes. Smee from... Peter right. Pan. Has anyone ever heard of that? Jake in the Neverland. Jake in the Neverland. Park. Yes. Uh, as Lumiere, Jen, Ms. Keen from the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Kari's going to narrate. I'm going to give you two choices, so don't say anything yet. It's going to be one or the other. <laughs> don't say anything. It's Gandalf or Magneto. Hang on. If you want Gandalf, scream. <laughs> All right. If you want Magneto, scream. What do you think? Like, well, if it's Magneto, I'm going to have to shave. <laughs> Magneto. Why don't we go Gandalf then? Gandalf it is. Right. All right. Gandalf, as Mrs. Potts, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> we've teased him with it. How about we bring Donald Trump? Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. Half the crowd liked it. Half the crowd hated <laughs> it. What are the odds? Funny yeah. that way. All right, Jeff, right. as Chip, you're Roger Rabbit. Oh, good, yeah. And as the Beast, we got to bring Eric Cartman. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And who else better than go with the Beast than our special guest star, Jan, doing Butters. Yeah, do Butters, man. Oh, yeah. Butters. You guys are going to like it. Uh -huh. You told her to, like, riff, right? So she's going to have fun. She can do whatever she All right. Wants. You're reading All right. You're, you're reading Bell. Whenever you guys are ready, yeah, starts yeah. on page yeah, 11. 
and you are Belle as Butters. Starting at the bottom, Steve. Hang on, I'm gonna help her out, dude. Right here, on the your first uh, bottom of page oh, there ten. There it is. Wait a minute, Jeff. This script is different. Bottom of page ten. Bottom of page ten. Hang yeah, yeah. There you ten go. comes to four eleven. That's you. I'm giving her voiceover <laughs> lessons, dude. This is cool. Hang on. So this is you. And this you is think you. he's kidding? It says Belle as Butters. All right. Cool. You guys are ready. Let's roll. Woo! Make this happen. Back to the third installment of this story. Back to the beast's castle, and, and we walk, and I've died, and I've come back, and I'm white. <laughs> I can say it. That, that's, Ooh, what's known, that's what's known as a devil entendre. What? Nelson. Oh, geez, who is it? <laughs> 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 Uh, it's me, Mrs. Potts, <laughs> dear. I thought you might like a spot of tea. <laughs> spot, just a spot. Well, but you're, uh, but you're a, I. I certainly am. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's really me. Oh, goodness. Careful. Dress. Yeah, this is a dress. Oh, geez, this is impossible. <laughs> I, I know it is, Mr. President, but here we are. How about Jeepers? I told you she was pretty, Mom, didn't I? Just like my lovely wife, Jessica. <laughs> All right, now, Chip, that'll do. Enough duck. <laughs> Slowly now, don't spill. Oh, you know what happens? Well, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Butter Bell. Hey, you want to see me do a trick? <laughs> Chip, don't make me tweet. <laughs> <laughs> because I will. I will. Oops. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, Mama. That was a very brave thing you did, Chippy Chip. <laughs> yes, um, we all think so. But I've lost my father, well, my dreams, well, I'm grounded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, me too, kid. <laughs> Cheer up, child. It'll turn out all right in the end. We'll see. Oops, <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> Look at me. Jabbering on when there's a supper to get on the table. Chip! Okay, see you later, Ma. Bye! Goodness, now, what shall we dress you in for dinner? Let's see what I've got in my drawers, not those drawers. <laughs> oh! I don't uh, want to see what you've got in your drawers, Ivanka. That's not what you said yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh! How embarrassing. Here we are. Oh, there. You look ravishing in this one. You shall not pass <laughs> any further until we have something to think about. We never hear of a king or a queen or parents. And so why is this prince living on his own and he's got a wardrobe full of women's clothing? Anyone? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, that's very kind of you, but well, I'm not going to dinner. I said I was grounded. <laughs> oh, goodness. Grounded or not, you must. <coughs> uh, dinner is served. Oh, come on. Captain. I am so pissed off right now, you guys. What is taking here so long? <laughs> I told her to come down. Why isn't she here yet? <laughs> oh, jeez, Bannon, calm down. <laughs> Try to be patient. The girl has lost her father, okay? <laughs> and her freedom. Freedom! <laughs> All in one day. Um, excuse me, everyone. Um, Master... Have you thought that perhaps this girl, not the Powerpuff Girls, could be the one to break the spell? Yeah, of course I have, you guys. I'm super sweet and totally awesome. I'm not a fool or poor like Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 
sorry, that would be me. Um, all right, I was just putting it all together, class. Um, so you fall in love with her. Everyone pay attention. She falls in love with you. Are you following me? And poof, the spell is broken. We will be human again by midnight. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not going to be that easy, loomy air. <laughs> <laughs> These things take time, Mr. Candle. But, but my goodness, um, the, the, the rose has already begun to wilt. <sighs> You guys, it's no use. She's so beautiful, and I'm, well, I'm not fat, but I'm big bone. Beefcake, beefcake! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Rosie. You must help her to see past all that. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> but I don't know how. <laughs> well, first of all, you get an account, and you, I'll tell you later. <laughs> you can start by making yourself more presentable. Look at me, get a long tie, straighten up, try to act like a gentleman. And yes, and, and when she comes in, you give her a dashing debonair smile. Come on, come on, show everyone your smile. But don't frighten the poor girl. I have that problem. <laughs> he does, he does. But you, you know, you can impress her with your rapier wit. But be gentle, very gentle. You know, like me, it's unbelievable. Yeah, <laughs> highly unbelievable. Um, shower her with compliments. But be sincere, again like me, unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, and above all, everyone. You must control, control your, your temper. temper. Shut up. <laughs> Excuse me. Young man, I... <gasps> there she is. Um, good evening. <laughs> Well, where is she, you guys? Who? Oh, the girl? Oh, yes, the girl! Well, uh, actually, she's in the process of, uh, <laughs> oh, they said stretch it out. Uh, uh, circumstances being what they are, uh, ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. She's, uh, she's not coming. I am so totally pissed off right now. What? Your grace, your, 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 your eminence, uh, your captainess, uh, uh, let's not be hasty. Hey, butter, I thought I told you to come to dinner. I got chicken pips and chicken pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, wait. You'll come out around. I, I will break down the door and kick you in the nuts. Uh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Everyone, just, just calm down, master. I mean, I could be wrong, and, but that may not be the best way to win the girl's affections. Oh, please, 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 attempt to be a gentleman and not a crocodile. <laughs> but she is being so difficult. <laughs> all right, I'm only going to say this once, <laughs> maybe twice, maybe three times. Gently. 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 Gently, gently. It's very, very good. Butters, will you like come down to dinner and stuff? <laughs> well, I said no. No, no, oh, 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 suave, oh, genteel. I'm not even sure what that means. <laughs> Butters? It would give me great pleasure if you would join me for cheesy peas and chicken pot pie. Here in Neverland, we say please. Please. <laughs> well, no, no, thank you. You cannot stay in there forever. Well, yes, I can. Fine. Then go ahead. <laughs> then go ahead and stop. If she doesn't eat with me, then she doesn't eat at all. Respect my authority. Oh, dear. <laughs> that didn't go very well at all, did it? <laughs> I mean, look at our numbers. Our numbers are down. We got to get them up. We got to get them up. <laughs> Oh, Lumiere, stand watch at the door and inform me at once if there is the slightest change. Uh, certainly you can count on me, Mon Capitan. Oh, you said Capitan. <laughs> Hot. Well, I guess, 
I guess we better go downstairs and start cleaning up, huh? Hmm, I love a good shower. Interior, West Wing, Smaug's treasure room. <laughs> I asked her nicely, but she refuses. Wait a minute, I know what she wants me to do. I'm sailing away. <laughs> and scene. Go! Go! Oh, wow, man. <laughs> Can we squeeze in the last scene? We have the last. We got it. Guys, they're giving us time for one more scene. One more scene. One more scene. One more scene. All right. Thank you very much. That was amazing. Big okay. round for Jan. Let's hear it for Jan, man. All yeah, right. that was so good, bro. Last scene. Uh, we're going to, we got to go quick because we don't want to take up too much. Let's go. Uh, as the Beast, Jess, Captain Hero. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Captain as the narrator, Jen, Rosie O'Donnell. Oh, my God. <laughs> as Lumiere, Jeff, Paul Lynn. Okay. You don't know the name, you know the voice, trust me. <laughs> as Mrs. Potts, I want to bring it back, Kari, but I don't know who, so hang on. Oh. As Chip, Jen, you're going to be, Ki is it Kiyoshi from Avatar? Yes, it is. Okay. And as the stove, it's one line, but from Star Wars, Bastila Shan. Bastila Shan is the stove. Yes. Okay, who was that? Who am I? I'm Chip in the stove. Yeah. As Cogsworth, Jeff, you, we heard you are the best John Cleese in the business. <laughs> John Cleese will be Cogsworth. Yeah. Oh, wow. As the feather duster, Jess, Scary Terry. Oh, from Rick and from Morty. From Rick dude, and yeah. Morty. Uh, let's see, let's see. Wow, there's a lot of parts. Okay, yeah, for Kari, we need to choose between Cyborg and Rafiki because you both love them. Now, wait, shut up. <gasps> yeah. Cyborg, scream. <laughs> All right, if you'd prefer Rafiki, scream. <laughs> Rafiki has it, folks. Rafiki back. will be Mrs. Potts. Okay. As the wardrobe, we have just one line. Want to take it? Sure. Who do you want to do? Big Mary from Powerpuff. Do you want to bring back Kelly? <laughs> they like no, no, I want to. I want to be Big Mary from Powerpuff. Big Mary from Powerpuff is doing one line. Is the wardrobe? Wardrobe. Okay. All right. All right. We got a voice. One left, and it's for Belle, Jess. Who do you want to be? Someone. Who do you guys want me to be? Is there any? Who Who you guys want to hear? All I hear is, all right. Here, get, let me get, uh, let me do Bootsy. Yeah. Who? Let me. Bill Cosby, I can't. They told me I no, can't, can't do it, dude. Soon, People got soon. mad. Too soon. Somebody got upset. We can't do Bill Cosby. All right, I'll, I'll just, do, dude, I'll do William Shatner. I'll do William Shatner. Oh. William Shatner it is. He thinks I'm Gene Simmons. You guys know that, right? In real life, yeah. That's all right, good. folks. This is like, now listen, after this, we're going to do lots of yelling and screaming, but they're going to be signing to the end of the show. So after this, please come by and say hi to them downstairs. Seriously, man, we'd love to say hi to you guys. We'd love to or see you guys. in the other hall. All right, guys, whenever you're ready. Now we're resting our faces. All right, everybody, just, just quiet. Beast picks up a magic mirror. And he looks great inside of it. Show me the girl, and while you're at it, show me a donkey. When the master has no bed, once you get to know him, why don't you give him a chance? I need a towel. But <laughs> I don't want to get to know him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. <laughs> I'm only fooling myself. She'll never see me as anything but a monster. <laughs> it's hopeless. Okay, so this is where it gets really weird, kids. This candlestick thing is putting the moves on a feather duster. I mean, how does that even work? <laughs> oh, no, bitch. Oh. oh, yes, bitch. Oh, no, bitch. Hey. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been burnt by you before, bitch. <laughs> This is where I do a sexy French laugh. Ooh la la. 
Okay, do you get it? Do you get it? It's a real, real thinker. Move, bitch. <laughs> Zoot allures. <laughs> she has emerged in so many ways. <laughs> What? Mrs. Potts is Miss Potts. I knew that. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Yes, you. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, is that the wrong line? It is. Uh, oh, what the heck? Everybody, let's go back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come, Chip. Wait. Into the cupboard with your brothers and sisters and everyone who is unchipped. I wonder what their name is going to be. But I am not sleepy. Yes, you are. No, I am not. I swear to God, little thing, I'm going to break you into pieces. <laughs> yeah. I work and I slave all day long. And for what? Certainly not the force. Certainly not for Revan. A culinary masterpiece gone to waste. Good Lord, I'm going to be depressed for the rest of my life with you. Stop your grousing. It's been a long night for all of us. Oh, I agree most assuredly. I mean, if you ask me, she was just being stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after all, he did say please, didn't he? <laughs> but if the master doesn't learn to control his temper, He'll never break the... I'm going to interrupt you now, Sonny. Splendid to see you out and about, Mademoiselle. I am Cogsworth, head of the household, and I'm very put off, as I always am. This is Lumiere. Who cares? Enchante, Sherry. <laughs> well, if the... Stop that. Stop it. Shut up. <laughs> you shut up. Why am I talking to... I'm sorry. Anything uh, we can do to make your stay more comfortable? Well, I am a little hungry for a great deal on Priceline.com. <laughs> yes, we don't have that. You are! Well, then it is time! Hear that? She is hungry! Stoke the fires, break out the silver, wake the china! <laughs> yes, remember what the master said? I don't, but I'm asking you, do you remember at all? Oh, pistos! Pistos? Yes, yeah, somebody says it. It's an I'm, English word, yes. I'm not about to let the poor child go hungry. I'm going oh, to keep this. All right, glass of water, crust of bread, and then we kill them, is that it? Is that, do we get to hurt them, I mean, anytime soon? Wait, Cogsworth, I am surprised at you. She's not our prisoner. She's our guest. There's a whole song about it. <laughs> We, we must make her feel welcome here, right this way, Mademoiselle. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep it down. I know that's terribly difficult for you. I mean, if the master finds out about this, it will be our necks, which some of us don't even have. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. But what is dinner without a little musico? Music? Ma chère, Mademoiselle. It is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure, I think you know where I'm going with this, <laughs> that we welcome you tonight. And now, we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your, everybody, yes! All, All right, right. we, we got a surprise. We do have a surprise. We have the Metal Tabernacle Choir coming up here to <laughs> sing up it here, for you. Come on up, guys. We love these guys with that mic stick. Here's one. Yes. Look at this, guys. Look what we did for you. Rock this out, man. Look, come on. Here, Jeff, hand me that mic, buddy. We got one more for you. Here's another one. All right, we want you joining in on this. You all know the words, right? Another mic? Another mic? No one wants it? Here you go. Good. All right. On you guys now. Let's hear it. We are 
guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Tie your napkin around your neck, Sherry, and we provide the rest. Soup toujours, hot or dove, why we only live to serve. Tie your nets of it's delicious, but maybe ask for dishes. They can sing, they can dance, after all this, this is France. And the service here is never second best. Come on and close your menu, take a glance, and then you'll be our guest. We are guests, be our guests. Come on, let's hear it. So late, we are out of time. We'll be back in September to see you and finish. <laughs> One last time, let's hear the walls shake. Jeff, Jess, Jen, Kari.